we have four major salivary glands and hundreds more in our mouth. Not that we really notice, except when those glands are damaged. That's when the pain and dryness can be excruciating. Researchers using a new method of growing cells may have found the answer for relief. Imagine having to carry water with you everywhere you go. It's the way of life for people who have Sjogren's syndrome. Saliva is something that you never even think about unless you don't have it anymore. Sjogren's destroys the salivary glands, leaving patients like Judy Willette with chronic dry mouth and pain. The tooth was just tearing at the uh, um, side of my tongue because there was no saliva to lubricate it. A lack of saliva can also lead to serious dental problems, difficulty eating, even sleeping because of dry mouth. So it affects the patient's quality of life tremendously. Once salivary glands are damaged, it's permanent, but there may be hope. Researchers are now trying to regrow salivary gland cells. It's not like other tissue, you just, uh, uh, you put some tissue that they can grow. Salivary gland tissue is most difficult Grow. A matrix scaffolding platform made out of silk is creating the ideal environment for stem cells to grow into salivary gland cells. Here is how they look like. The doctors have been able to grow salivary gland cells in this unique micro environment. Eventually, they hope to be able to transplant them into patients. In the meantime, Judy is hopeful that science will someday allow her to sip away less often. The researchers say while the current results are promising, actually reaching the transplant phase is still at least five years away.